Welcome. This is the Critic Corner, presented by Chris Reason and this Chris Reason Network. If you didn't know it guys already, I'm Chris Reason. Yeah. I noticed what you're thinking, this is not a corner, close enough. But today we're gonna start off with the best Batman movie. Going from previous research that I've done on IMDb and Wikipedia. I know it's Wikipedia that you can change a lot of shit, but still, they review everything now, which is ridiculous. Anyway, starting off, first Batman movie, 1943, Batman and Robin, 1949, Batman featuring Adam West is 1966, then you got the Tim Burton Batmans in 1989, and Batman Returns in 1992, and you got the ones with the nipples going through the costumes are really bad shit. You got Batman Ret uh, Forever from 95. And the George Clooney one with Batman and Robin through 97. The funny thing is they kept the guy who played Robin in each. Batman Forever and Batman, uh, Batman and Robin. Next you got the Christopher Nolan series of the Dark Knight trilogy. Uh, first off from 2005 you got Batman Begins with Christian Bale. And of course Christian Bale's in all these. Dark Knight in 2008 and the Dark Knight Rises in 2012. Let's start off back with the ratings. First Batman 1943. 6.8 out of 10 by 921 people, oh, that's on IMDb, that means 921 people now have seen it since IMDb has existed. That's not good. 1949's Batman and Robin, you got 6.5 out, out of 10 by 814 users, so it's less. And then you got the Batman with Adam West from, 90, uh, from 66, 6.5 out of 10 by 18,265 people. Now we're going on to the Tim Burton movies from 1989, Batman, 7.6 out of 10 by 206,210 people. That is about almost 10, no, 20 times I think, of the Adam West Batman. Then you got Batman Returns from 92, 7 out of 10 by 160,260 people. And then you're going off with the Batman Forever from 1995, you got 10, 5 and a 5.4 out of 10, 146,000 people. Batman and Robin, from 97, 3.6 out of 10, by 147,000 people. And then, we're up into the Dark Knight trilogy again by Christopher Nolan. 2005 Batman Begins, you got 8.3 out of 10, by 641,000 people. The Dark Knight, 2008, 9 out of 10, by 1.1 million people. Dark Knight Rises, back to 8.6 out of 10, by 731,000 people. Now we're going to the critic ratings that I, for once I could find, on IMDb. Uh, we're skipping the first three Batmans. We're going on to the Batman directed by Tim Burton, because that's the one I could find. With a critic rating of 6.6 out of 10. Batman Returns, didn't have one. Uh, Batman Forever, 5.1 out of 10. Uh, I'm not sure. Batman and Robin, wait, sorry, uh, Batman and Robin 97 with George Clooney had a 2.8 out of 10, which I would definitely agree on that one. In fact, George Clooney sucked as Batman. Um, Batman Begins with Christopher Nolan series, you got 7 out of 10 by critics. Dark Knight is 8.2 out of 10. Dark Knight Rises is 7.8 out of 10. Now, for the ones that show, I went on to Wikipedia for this one and you found out the box office gain or what they made in the box office and what the budget was. Starting off with the 1966 Batman, the box office estimated value of 1.7 million dollars and the budget was one, one, sorry, 1 million five hundred forty thousand. That approximately came out to hundred six thousand, hundred sixty thousand 160,000 dollars made. The Tim Burton movie of Batman 1989, the box budget was 48 million. The box office made for around 411 million, it made approximately 363 million dollars. Big upgrade from the 1966 movie, of course. Uh, okay, and then Batman Returns got a budget of 80 million, box office 266 million, made approximately approximately 186 million. Batman Forever, budget of 100 million dollars, box office around 336 million, made approximately 236 million. Now we're down to the George Clooney Batman and Robin with a budget of 140 million, box office 238 million, so only made 98 million. 
Batman Begins box budget of 150 million, box office got to 374 million, and made approximately 224 million dollars. Dark Knight, the budget was 185 million, the box office was about 1 billion dollars. Approximately made a 819 million dollars. Dark Knight Rises, the budget was 230, 230 million. Sorry, budget. Er, sorry, box office, one point oh eight four million dollars. Made approximately eight hundred fifty four million dollars. Sorry, sorry. Fucking hey. Dark Knight Rises. The budget was a two hundred thirty million. Box office, but one point oh eight four billion dollars. Approximately made eight hundred fifty four million dollars. Now, based on that assumption. The top five Batman movies, uh, let's see, going down from the bottom, would be Batman Returns, with a 7 out of 10, and 160,000 people viewing it. Uh, Batman is from 1989, the Batman Returns is 1982, uh, and the next, number four, would be Batman, 1989, 7.6 out of 10, at 206,000 users. Uh, three would be Batman Begins at 8.3 out of 10 at 641,000 users. Number two, Dark Knight Rises, 2012, 8.6 out of 10, 731,000 users. And of course, number one, based on critic ratings, fan ratings, and how many people rated it, you get nine out of 10 at 1.1 million users. There you have it. The best Batman movie of all time, according to this list, is Christopher Nolan's The Dark Knight. Thank you.